Hello, and welcome to the story of the Gold Coast Suns as we gear up for a, an important match this week against the Suns. And I thought it would be just perfect to look at the history of the Suns. And as I was doing my research, I realized that we have played them 17 times since they entered the competition. And we have won 10 games, they've won seven. And I was a bit surprised at that, to be honest, because I felt like for the last eight years, it's been a game where the Suns win the majority of them and, and that would have something to say with the final tally. But that's the case. The Suns, obviously one of the newer teams in the competition who entered uh, in the early 2010s. I, I do actually remember our first game against them. And I remember we beat them convincingly over there. Judd was dominant. Murphy was dominant. But, you know, they were young kids. And it's kind of cool to see their, their rise. They had a bit of a rise. Obviously, Ablett was there at the peak of his powers. And they looked like they were going to play finals one year until Ablett got hurt. And that kind of derailed them a little bit. And now they're going through this next phase of their development. And they look, I mean, as it sits right now, at the time of filming this video, they're 15th. I don't think they're the 15th best team in the competition. I think they've got some nice pieces there. Um, also, at the time of filming this video, they don't have a locked-in coach for season 2024. Stewie Dew has been, uh, you know, moved on. The reports will suggest that Damian Hardwick is the front runner for the job. And so I, it, it's hard to get a gauge on them. But it's time to go through the best and worst memories. I'll start with the worst, as I always do. I can't talk about any game against the Suns other than round four, 2019. Now, this was four years ago, early in the season. This was the time when we'd come off a two-win two season. We started 2019, fresh slate. Uh, we thought <laughs> we might actually play finals football or start moving up for finals football. We didn't start the season very well. Uh, and we came up against the Suns and we hadn't won a game, I believe. And, and listen, we were in control of the game. I just finished watching the highlights and we're in control of the game. Patrick Cripps kicks a goal about six minutes to go. Ed Kerno has a snapshot on his left with about two and a half minutes to go and misses. And, you know, we're up by five. Uh, Jack Martin uh, actually was playing for the Suns at the time. He misses. And then a series of unfortunate events, about a minute 30 to go, the ball goes into the forward line, comes back out the Gold Coast forward line. And then with 30 seconds to go, you if you want to get triggered, go and watch the last 30 seconds of the Gold Coast game round four, 2019. <laughs> Spillage, efforts from the Carlton players, which you look at them now in 2023 and you think, wow, that effort is not the same. It's a proper commitment. And then Jack Bowes snaps on his left. Nobody on the goal line. McGovern was a little bit too too far up. He wasn't on the goal line. They kicked the goal. The Gold Coast Suns win. And uh, the infamous desk slam happens. Look, you get what you deserve in this game. Far too many times under pressure. We just make the wrong decisions. And uh, we, paid, we paid for it. We got punished for it. The reality is, you know, Peter Wright running into open goal, he drops it, probably should have kicked that, game over. So many wrong decisions, um, so many wrong decisions. I think we kick it forward to Gibbons, how many times today do we kick the ball to Gibbons as, a, as like he's a big full forward? Like it makes no fucking sense right now. Um, I remember I was I was in Israel at the time and I used to go watch the games early in the morning because Israel is, you know, seven, eight hours behind depending on the time of the year. And yeah, I remember dressing up, going to work, watching the game, doing my review and then I'd start the work day. <laughs> I was so mad because I remember it clearly. We, we were so disorganized and for some reason, Michael Gibbons kept finding himself as the last man in our forward line. And he seemed to be the only player that we were kicking to in our forward line. And it's nothing against Gibbo at all. Loved him. 
I loved what he brought to the group, but it just so happened that every time we went forward, it seemed like he was the only one that we were kicking to. And oh man, that, that was that was the worst. And it stuck with me so long. I think now in the, you know, the midst of this eight game winning streak in 2023, you know, we can look back on these moments and laugh finally, but we haven't been able to do that. <laughs> and that was one of the few games, there's probably five or six of them, maybe more, that really sting. And that was one of them, no doubt. So I was I was filthy, as you saw, slamming the desk. <laughs> I had a little tripod. I filmed that video on my iPhone at the time, and I had a little tripod on the desk. And the way that it all sh- shook just gave that extra effect. But yeah, that was the worst, no doubt. The best, probably the one early in the year, to be honest. Um, when I look back now, that will go down as the start of the run. And I think the more removed I am from that game, the more it means, given it was the start of the the new era, even though the first quarter didn't go our way. And the Suns, you could argue, probably should have been up by a little bit more. So yeah, eight games ago, the Suns, that was probably the, one of the better memories. N- nothing that really stands out, honestly, nothing that really stands out to me. Uh, as like a a key win, similar to the Melbourne video last week. There aren't any core memories that I'm going to remember forever or anything like that. And uh, I think the Suns over the next few seasons will find themselves back in finals contention. And I think there will be more games against them, which are gritty and which are tough and hard fought. I mean, this week could be one of them. But yeah, right now, those are the two that stick in, in my memory. And uh, I'm glad that the the worst is behind us. And I'm glad that we continue to find ourselves removed from that moment because that was just not a good time to be a Carlton supporter. But what about you? What are your memories of the Gold Coast Suns? What are some of the games? I'm sure some of you made interstate trips to the Gold Coast to watch us play and lose. Um, I think the Brett Ratton sacking is another um, low point in the story of the Gold Coast Suns and Carlton. Obviously, because you know we lost the game, and then he ended up getting getting sacked afterwards, and, and that goes down as a pretty dark day in the you know the history or the story of the club and, and the journey that we've been on. But yeah, those are mine. What are yours? What's your best memory against the Suns, and what is your worst memory against the Suns? Let me know in the comments below. Go Blues.